good. How are you? Ruben, Texas All Water Fishing. Hey, how's it going? Hey, so you, it says the built-in rattle. Yes. In the, in the tail. Yep. On this. Yep. Right there. That's awesome. So where are you auto? Katy, Texas. Katy, Texas. Yep. Okay. Okay. And, uh, it's a lot of noise. It's a lot of noise in here. Yeah. So what's your? So you have a seven pack. Seven packs, ten dollars. Yeah, these are just samples. It's two. First come, first serve. Okay. Everything else is uh, five for twenty or five dollars for one. And on the the bulk ones here, on the knocking tails, the new ones that just came out last week. They're thirty five baits for twenty bucks. Okay. Mix and match any color you want. So these are the which ones you said they came out. Yeah, last these week? are the knocking tails. With the knocking tail. tail. Okay. We have six colors. Salt water or fresh water, they work either way. Yeah, that's a good one. That's one good fish that's good. Yep, that's legit. What's up, Rex? This up, is the How are you, bro? You doing good, good. good. yourself? Good, man. So what you got coming out this year? I see um, some of these. Yeah, these are the, uh, the paddle clip holders. So you got two two methods. This is the uh, the erect mode, and then this is balls down. Okay. So balls down is really good for uh, sight fishing and using paddles. So you know you're you're doing sight fishing. You're pulling around. Mm -hmm. You see the fish. You just pop it in like that, and then you can make the cast. Do that again. Pop it in. That's awesome. You're hands free, you're standing up, you don't lose the fish. A lot of times, like if you don't have this, you gotta set your, your paddle down. And then when you set your paddle down, it sends a vibration through your whole kayak, it can spook the fish. So it's not really about quicker, it's about being more stealthy and quiet with it, you know? So we got this. The erect mode's good for like uh, stakeout poles, a little smaller diameter. That spring kind of helps hold it in place. Uh, it can also hold fishing rods. So if you have fishing rods, you got to find like the right balance point. But we offer them this way. You get them like this. You can pop out the spring and just twist it down. That's for, for most uses. But you can keep the spring in if you got the stakeout pole. Some people like to pull around with yeah. the stakeout pole. But yeah. That's it. And then we got like, we got the whole, uh, Whole line of fish fresh, this fresh fishing apparel. These kind of cool, simple designs. And we got, you know, some live live gear, which is more like outdoors. It's representing, you know, loving outdoors. You got a ton of stickers. Yep. Some hats. We're pressing up shirts, man, right at the booth. Yeah, pressing. Yep. So people can come pick out whatever blank they want. Uh huh. And it will put any design on it. Okay. I see the press right here, yep. right behind you. So where's your decals? Are you pressing on the shirts? Right over here. So you got face down, tail up. Okay. So you pick your pick your pick your shirt. Yep. Pick, pick your, your decal shirt. you want. Yeah, we got even got like camo hoodies. It ain't, oh, hood, awesome. it ain't hoodie season anymore yeah. in Texas, yeah. but you yeah. know, people still hey, rock hoodies. Wait five minutes, it will be. All right, brother. I appreciate you I'll guys. Swing back around. Right. So we've got the buffs. Those are new. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one we brought right here. So you selling these at the show? Yeah, we'll sell them. Yeah, we. Uh, so we only shot. We only shot like two thousand. We just brought them with us. I didn't even. We got them bagged. Right here, four bucks or five fifty online. Okay. How we doing, sir? How much? Made with a hundred percent crawfish oil when we cook them. Really? Yeah, smell them. You can smell the stank in there. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little bit of stank in They're there. They're not getting that on. Your wife might get mad. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be in trouble. We're coming out with a whole color line of these. This is just okay. we just shot these last last week. Oh, okay, awesome. They look good, don't they? They look good. They look real good. 
<laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. How many, how many, many did you have in your out? pocket? You three. counted them. You gave me a hard time. Well, you no, 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 them. because I got three different ones. That one's got blue with the, that's oh, all okay. pumpkin. That one's pumpkin with uh, black with blue flake, and this is basically the pumpkin with the burnt, okay, burnt, yeah. uh, burnt orange. Yeah. Cool though. I appreciate it though. No worries, Keep dude. doing what y'all doing. You want some swag? You got some swag? What kind of base you? Four. What color? What color base you want, dude? <laughs> huh? Yeah, that is... Yeah, a whole grab bag. Oh, yeah. That's, that's nice. nice. That's some red candy right there. Eight. Sure you did if you ordered once already. We already threw stuff yeah. in for you. Okay. Yeah. But thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. No worries, man. Take All right, care. Thanks. See you. Okay. Peace, guys. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You got one of those? No, I don't. I don't. What, uh, can you explain to me? One. Tell me what's going on. Latest and the greatest. Rod storage. Riding real storage. Instead of, instead of piling up in your garage. I do have them scattered everywhere. Yeah, see? <laughs> All over the place. Is that right? We can load this up, pick them up, and move the whole thing. Don't really? throw them, yeah, you don't throw them in the corner. Or... Cork butts. Split butts. Grab two. You're moving them anywhere you like. Oh, wow, that is... Yeah, that's another put, another feature yeah. that's yeah. If you got big rods, yeah, offshore or inshore, that does both big butts and in smaller inshore rods. You guys got plenty of designs to go along with them too. Yeah, how, how do you, you like, like that? that? That's right? our newest designs. Yeah, we're always changing things inside. Some different sizes you have. Yeah, we got different. eight by ten by thirty. That holds twenty one inch holes. That's forty-five dollars here. This is regularly fifty-five on the web, plus fourteen dollars shipping. So everything's discounted for the show. Okay. But that holds twenty. Then we have fifteen for forty dollars, and of course the one that holds ten for thirty dollars. Everything's discounted. And we got the monster. So then we have monster ones like this that hold forty-eight, forty-eight inch and a quarter, like that. So you can put offshore or inshore. Okay. And it's only a hundred bucks. Yeah. These we don't sell on the web because shipping would be about sixty bucks. Okay. But we do build these for the shows. Okay. Okay. Well, a home wrecker is a paddle tail design. This paddle tail, which is the star five inch, it'll give you the, the twitch going back and forth in the water as it swims, as well as a paddle tail doing its thing. It doesn't stop, acts like a propeller through the water, going on the top, mid, bottom. Very versatile, you'll be able to use the, the larger rattler jig heads. Uh, weedless, any way you want to do them, you, they're very versatile. Uh, our newest right now is the Pearl Smoke. We have, we have been a fall classic, we did really well over there. We didn't win the tournament, but we caught a lot of trout. Really? Oh yeah, we we slayed them. Had a had a blast. Uh, we have, as you can see, probably 23 different colors, and we have our, on our website there's 23 colors. And hopefully, y'all, Saturday, we're gonna have all these, quite a few painted up with eyes. Painted up with what? We're going to have the eyes painted on the lures. We're going to use we'll have a half inch eye with a black dot and other different colors that generally are not even put on the website. Okay. They are doing that here Saturday? Saturday. Okay. How are y'all? Hey, how are you doing? Six for Ruben. 20. Are we live? We are live. Oh my gosh. Mr. Joe. I you, got the you, news. You send, you send me some stuff. Um, not too long ago, I appreciate it. On the channel. Yeah, what's your channel? Texas All Water Fishing. I remember that. Got the new Donald Thump. Donald Thump. The Joe Bite Me. But I'm not done. Hang on, hang on. Brand new. The Swamp Chicken. And I'm the first. This is called the Stinky Pinky. Show me yours, I'll show you mine. But seriously, though, smell this. Smell that. You smell that? Smell that? Smell that? Smell that? Smell that? Ooh, Smell that? Yeah. That's cherry flavored CBD oil. It gives fish the munchies. Really? That's right. And I want to thank oil. you. I want to thank you because one of my favorite lures I named after a gentleman like you 
it's called this is called the model, it's called the spec the bubble clucker. The lure is called the speckle pecker, so a three-inch lure. <laughs> but I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Get that right there. But you get six bags a day, $20 at the show. If you spend 40, you get a free chicken boy hat or free chicken boy t-shirt. How you doing, Ruben? Texas All Water Fishing. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Can you? I love your jig heads. Can you explain about them or explain it to the camera? Sure, absolutely. We have basically what we decided to do is to add a rattle to the jig head instead of people have been adding rattles to plastics for a long time. Bass anglers went in tournaments doing that. Uh, if you're a wade fisherman, that may be a little bit hard to do when you have slimy hands and you're out in the water. So we decided to make it a little easier. We added the rattle chamber right inside the head. So that's what this is right here. It's alongside the hook. One of the benefits it gave us that we weren't necessarily planning, but it actually wound up working to our favor. It's being that it's in the lead and made it alongside the hook. That hook becomes a resonator for us. So even though this is inside the plastic, that hook is actually taking that vibration and noise and, and, and magnifying it out. And so we test compared to shoving a rattle in plastic by itself, we test about four times louder. That equates to a long distance underwater. So these can be heard about 200 yards underwater by a fish. Wow. Okay, the one trick about our jig heads is they don't rig like a standard jig head. Standard jig head, you go dead center of the body with the hook. We need the barrel to be dead center. Because a lot of people will say, it's splitting my plastics. Look at our videos. Look. And on the back of the pack, we have rigging instructions. So please pay attention to the rigging instructions. But you know, nobody to rip them out, put them right, in their tray, right. and they throw away the... Who reads anything? Yeah, so this is this is very important on these jigs. And so, and they actually, I think, makes it a little easier to rig these in a, than a standard jig. So we don't want to be dead center. We want to be towards the spine. We want the barrel to be dead center of the plastic. So come towards the spine. Stay shallow with the hook. And when you get around about halfway on the hook, that's your signal to come on out. And then you'll see it'll be dead center at that point. Then it's just a matter of pinch. He did, wasn't that much and shove it on. Don't twist, because these are these are Pyrex rattles. They can break. So if right. you hit a bridge or you throw it on the concrete, a big mass of red that has these crushers, he, right. they could crush the, the barrel. Or if you twist while you're trying to put this on, you right. can snap it off. But once you get it, do it straight it's not going to come off you know a, a typical plastic if you're using if you like to use gold plastics that are real slick and slimy we build what we call the quick lock for that and it has a little extra keeper bar and that'll help hold it on and we also build these in smaller sizes so this is probably a one aught we make them in one aught two aught three aught and four aught the twos two aught and the one aughts use a slightly smaller diameter rattle chamber because some of those gulps are like maybe two and a half inch shrimp and they're real thin bodied and so we need it a little bit smaller. So that's what they're for. How are you doing there, buddy? Hey, Doc. How are you? Hey, we're down here with Ruben with uh, Texas Old Water Fish and I. And uh, hey, y'all, this is uh, Andrew with Real Sportswear. Uh, he's from Corpus. Corpus Christi. Tell yes, him about sir. yourself, man. Man, out of Corpus Christi, started a fishing apparel company, uh, loved the fish, and uh, was a graphic designer. Just dove into it and uh, it's been fun man it's been a wild ride for six years so. okay uh, hey tell us how the people out here can uh, reach out and uh, buy some of your product oh uh, man we've got all kinds of things realsportswear.com we've got a mobile app uh, for Android and uh, iPhone you just search real sportswear shop directly from the app get free shipping uh, we have stores up and down the coast I mean okay well tell out. them this tell them this uh, and what year did you start real Put me on the spot. 2014. 2014, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. 
Hey, well, look, check it out. He's another homegrown brand. He started out from the bottom, and uh, he's escalating uh, and building his brand up there, and he's got some really high-tech stuff here. Uh, show him some of your product. So these are our new performance hoods. UPF 50, moisture wicking, antimicrobial. Real soft feeling, man. Dude, super soft I mean, like, to the touch. Real soft. High quality. Cooling. All of our apparel products are uh, super comfortable. I mean, that's the most, most important thing. And then hopefully they look great on you as well. So. You've got some killer lids right here with some patches on them. Real clean, fresh look. If you're in the fishing industry, man, this is some hot stuff right here to wear. And then, uh, this is one of our new products for the fall. It's a fishing hoodie, so it's still performance material. Um, but it's a little thicker, probably like 300 uh, GSM or grounds per square meter. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's uh, super great for like that cool morning when you're getting out on the water. It's not it's not too uh, bulky or anything, so you can still. Is this self wicketing like from when you sweat? Yes, sir. Okay, man, check it out. And he's got some other so. performance shirts over here too. Got some killer designs on. It. Look like some tarpon or some skilled kind of designs on there. Yeah. And it's tagless right here. Now, I'd say this is a, like an A-grade, really nice stuff, man. Yeah. He's got all kinds of colors over here. Patch hats, he's got some uh, 3D. He's got the 3D print right here. These are really hard to get. Uh, it looks like some really high-quality stuff. Real comfortable looking. There you go. Yeah, man. Hey, check this out, too. Uh, we're going by it. Uh, Realsportswear.com, right, man. man. And his name's Andrew, so go check him out. Uh, hit him on, uh, you got social media? Yeah, man. Facebook, Instagram. Tell me. Thanks for coming to the show today, yeah. man. You're kicking out. Thanks, Thanks man. Buddy. Appreciate you having me. All right, man. Nice. nice to meet you. Hey, everybody. It's Bill Ray. I'm over here with the Texas Saltwater, all water fishing. Not with the salt, but um, anyways, I'm with my good friend, avid angler, Phil Thompson. Right here he is. The biggest heart in Texas is his nickname <laughs> with me. Um, Philip, you want to tell him what do you do and how long you've been in business? I've been doing uh, avid angler jewelry design since the late 80s, early 90s. And uh, all of the things that I make, I do by hand from start to finish. Show them your hands how they look. Just give them, get a close up on those fingers. He's got half a thumb right here. <laughs> I bought it from my uh, silver poisoning, but I. Uh, as you notice, if you look at the camera over here while he's looking for that, I've got some of the jewelry, and I don't think I've ever polished any of this. But uh, there's a flounder right there, and it's got the bone in the back. Right here, I got a. It does look like a speckled trout right there on that one. Here's one of my Texas slams that I do. This one I beef up a little bit by doing 14 karat overlay. 14 karat. With black rhodium, and it's all on sterling silver, so this way you have the look without having to pay the price. Part of my logo is it has the bone structure on the back. I say half the work is done. My motto for Avid Angler Jewelry is to wear it in good health, show it a good time, and catch bigger fish. Amen. Okay, so where, where can everybody find you? I'm at the Antique Center of Texas, which is the old Northwest Mall that used to be a J.C. Penney's building. It's right across from the HISD and Del Mar Stadium. It's a 108,000 square foot antique mall here in Northwest Houston. And do you sell online as well? I sell online as well. If people text, they look at my Facebook. My Facebook has a majority of my pieces, whereas my website's an antique. But uh, if they text me what they're looking for, I'm always glad to send photos and send things uh, through the mail shipping. It's not never a problem. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. So Sea Star Base Galveston is a nonprofit organization developed to help youth uh, really get out there on the water, whether it's sailing or fishing. This booth today, we're mainly focusing about fishing programs that we started just a couple years ago. Cody was the one who really got everything rolling, but I've kind of been working with him on it and trying to help him out. Um, today is a really big deal for us because this is really going to help us get out there and really just push the word that we're fishing for a cause, meaning that our charters are offered not only to just you know sports fishermen that go out every day but also people with disabilities kids with cancer people who don't have the same privilege as the everyday guy that just goes out and goes fishing people that don't get that privilege very often so a lot of the money that we make from the charters are going to be given straight back to sea star base galveston to help pay for a less fortunate child to have summer camp for a solid week over the summer so that's that's pretty much what we're all about. So when you're at camp startup? 
June 1st. June 1st. Hey everybody, as you saw, hit up the Houston Fishing Show today. It is at George R. Brown Convention Center. You know, there's just a ton of booths out there. There's a ton of great product, great lures, rod, reels, kayaks, boats, just everything that an angler can think of. If you have an opportunity to get out there, I advise you to do so. It is going on until March 8th. Make sure you take some cash out there with you because you, it takes cash to get a ticket to get in the door. $15 at the door. I covered a lot of product, did a lot of interviews, and this video just ran a little long for me. I did. I cut a lot of stuff out. So there's a tremendous amount of stuff to look at if you go out there. So check them out. Head out there. George R. Brown Convention Center. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. You can follow us on social media as well. Till next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up.